Hey everyone, it's Taylor here, the Serial Hobbyist. Thanks for joining me today. I'll be showing you how I made this Ocean Beach Resin Lazy Susan, which is also a tray, but it spins on the bottom. So as you can see, I've already mixed my resin. I use KS resin and I absolutely love it. So now I'm gonna be mixing my colors and here I've got two different shades of blue from Brambleberry. They're both mica pigments. And that third cup on the bottom of the screen is gonna be my white, which has alcohol ink and casting craft. And I also have, behind the screen, you can't see it, another shade of blue that is also alcohol ink. And those are by Pinata. And now I'm going to be laying down my resin. So I start with the darkest color. Um, you could argue that this maybe wasn't the darkest, but it was what I thought was the darkest. So I put that down. It's a more um, silvery blue, I would say, with a little bit of green um, so I put that down on the bottom, and don't worry if you spill, you're going to be covering that up with another color soon. Um, and I didn't go all the way to the bottom, and the reason being with my heat gun, when I create the waves, it will kind of push all of the resin to the side that I'm working on, so it'll kind of cover the edges and not spill over the edges. So... I'm putting my next shade of blue down. This one I think is the Caribbean Blue from Brambleberry, which is probably my favorite shade of blue. And then my last layer of blue is this more teal color. I think it's called Baja Blue by Pinata. It's an alcohol ink. And it's a little bit more translucent, but I really like it. So I put the more greener shade, usually towards the shore, which is the top, um, because the yellow of the sand, even though this is wood, but the yellow of the sand mixes with the blue of the water, and I think, in my eyes at least, it creates more of a green, blue, tealish look, and I really like that. But no matter how you choose to layer your blues in what order and whatnot, it is your piece of art and you're in control, and it will look beautiful. So I'm just adding in my casting craft to my white and giving it another stir. Now I'm just adding a layer, a thin layer of clear resin right over the green blue teal color and that's just um, to give the waves a little extra room. So I, I really like this look. It kind of is a simulation of a shoreline. So the white will kind of crash over the sand before it gets to the deeper water. So after I did that one layer of clear, I put down my final layer of white. If you can, don't tilt your cup quite as much um, as you can see, it kind of had that ribboning zigzag effect that is not quite ideal. So it's something to do with the way that you hold your cup, and I just kind of didn't do it so right. But that's okay. Like I mentioned, it's, it's art, and whatever happens, happens. And you kind of just roll with it. And that's kind of been a good mindset for me to have, especially since I'm a planner type. And... Art is kind of my release from that sort of mindset, so it's been good for me. Anyways, here I'm going in with my heat gun, and I start on the shore side, and I just push the waves towards the blue. So I'm just running my heat gun on the highest setting over towards the blue, just kind of spreading it out, and the casting craft will do its thing and create some lacing and some cells, and it just looks really beautiful. Sometimes I like to go over and kind of break up the waves a little bit, so I'll push it out from the shore and then I'll just go over 
um, just kind of like that. And as you can see, what I mentioned before, the blue is starting to move over towards the edges, and I just really didn't want it to go over because I didn't tape the um, the lip area of the Lazy Susan, so I'm just tilting it very slowly, hoping that it won't go over the edge, which it didn't, and just making sure that I get every area of the wood that I wanted to. So I kind of did that. It kind of created a weird circular look on the right side there, and part of that is because my resin flowed over more than half of the Lazy Susan, but I kind of ended up really liking it and just kind of went with it. And then don't forget to pop your bubbles. I didn't do a very good job of that and ended up having a couple different areas of bubbles, so make sure that even though you blew out your waves with a heat gun, you still go over the blue area and pop all your bubbles with your heat gun. So now it's time to wait until the resin is cured and I will be back to show you the final product in the morning. So here's the final product. As I kind of mentioned before, there are some areas of bubbles, but overall it turned out really great and I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for joining me in this process. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. See you in my next video.